We have sterilised sterilised scoops. Excellent. Yeah. And did you, this is the food box, so the rest of the food. <laughs> you got Michael's scissors, you can have them. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Um, each group's going to volunteer. Very photogenic. Do you guys need a hand or are you alright? Um, if we had another knife. Yeah, another knife. Yeah. Um, excuse me, have you got another knife? Or, or could we use your scissors to chop apples and grapes? Do you want apples in all these bags? <laughs> I think so, yeah. We've a mixture of apples and grapes yeah, right, in each bag. I'll switch that one more. Yeah. No, I don't. I think we've got, we've got oh. two apples in there. Half an apple. We're just creating the dry food mix here. Uh, we've mixed it in these bowls here for the cages and then we've bagged it up in equal measures to take with us to the cages for the actual release. And what is it that you've actually put in there? Um, hazelnuts, mixed seeds, raisins, etc. And then there's wet food, as well, you know, more water in food as well. A bottle of water. Have you got the big, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and a set of loppers each. Um, so we've got some chopped up apple, um, some chopped up grapes, and some blueberries. So why so, those particular fruits? Um, I think they'll eat a whole range of fruits. To be fair, so um, we've got the dried mix as well. So it's just a bit of a supplement as well. Can... Which do you think they'll go for first, the dried or the? I have no. I would expect the fruit. I would have thought with the sugar in it, but uh, yeah, I don't know. To be honest. How far have I put them? Right. <laughs> this is the one we want. I'll <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> be enough on it. Are you coming back? Yeah. yeah, pretty much. So the, the water bottle is critical because once you come back to start the feeding, you won't be able to open it to yes. get into that. So you might be able to kind of slosh a bit out. Yeah, that's why. You I know, because they might go to the loo in it and all sorts of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's this one that you need to make sure you keep fresh. Are you right? Yes, yeah, so <laughs> right. I'm just in a funny position with my <laughs> knee bent. Oh dear. Are you going to go through all of this again tomorrow? Um, I'm not, but Deb's is, so I'll make sure she knows exactly yeah, what. Is. Okay. I just want to write everything down. Yeah. Okay. The main thing right. is, is when you come back to feed, if you could just make sure you come really quietly, then you might stand a good chance of seeing them. And the critical thing is, so I need to make sure that I, it's, the critical thing is they often come and sit in the food thing, in the bottle, in the food. So before you kind of gung-ho, open it and pull the bottle out to chuck away the dirty food, <laughs> check yeah. that there's not a doormat in it. Not yeah. in there. Yeah. So I'll show you, so this one, this has got a little, a little catch like the bigger door catch. And luckily it's attached as well. So that's easy. You won't, because uh, just be careful with this, obviously, yeah, yeah, that yeah. you don't. So, and, and the water bottle's also attached, a bit annoying. Just so you take it out. So if we um, and if there's there's likely to be dirty food with or rotten fruit or droppings or anything. So chuck them kind of well away as well because we try and avoid chucking it. Just here. Rats and stuff coming exactly. Up. Or even just wood mice or anything that then might try and you know get in the cage. So who wants to be in charge of the food? <laughs> so we're just doing that. Yeah. And if you want to do similar with the fresh fruit. And you guys will get a feel for it. You know, you'll come back one day and there might be lots eaten or maybe if the female gets pregnant quickly, that, you know, she'll eat a lot. And then once the cage doors open, you'll you realise there might not be so much. Eating exactly. Yeah. Okay, so if you've seen a dormouse active, just I would close this whilst you're doing the food in yeah. there. Yeah. So that, I don't know if that's annoying or not. I don't know that. Is that necessary? Well, no. I just let it dangle, <laughs> just dangle to the bottom, Dave, and just leave it. Just leave it loose. Try to do anything about it. So then you close Ooh. that. One catch and two catch, and that one's right. done. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
So now, <coughs> more than enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If it anyway. gives us too much, we, you can, we can take it on to the next yeah. one. Help the yourself. So then you're, then you're just making, the, putting the woodland inside the cage for the yeah. dormice. Just the only thing you need to make sure now is that there's enough space on the ground for the um, two nest boxes to go flat on the How ground. How big safely. are they? Like, like that's the square. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, some the on the top. Yeah. And we need to make sure the little door at the side shut. Yes, yeah, so can you see I've the little the round, door? Round Do you all know where it is? Up this back yeah. corner here. Right, oh yes, yeah. so it's so we, I th we'd, I'm fairly I think sure. There's another, I think there's another one on that corner as well there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, just keeps their car cool, keeps it well out of public way. Because it's not in a public car park. Hello. Oh, there, how are you doing? Good, yeah, good. Uh, good drive? It's okay. It's alright, actually, yeah. That's a long way, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's mainly that it takes quite a long time to obviously prep them all. I know. had a restriction on quarantine and very kindly that it has uh, done quarantine for us. We don't have a medium house, so we're going to show one of the ones that we're going to put out. So, um, George has selected a very fine male, apparently. And then we do go and put the food and the greenery and the water in the remaining 12 cages and the the rest of the door might set like the normal options. as hard as you like on trying to conserve or look after the species but unless there's actually public interest which is what you guys are doing there's actually it's very hard to do and uh, i did have a journalist ask me once and So I think dormice handle very well. Um, they rarely bite. I mean, uh, when I first started training for uh, uh, dog, working with dormice, it actually said, oh, well, they never bite, but they do. Um, but it's usually when you've had different people handling them and they start getting a bit stressed out. Um, and when they do bite, their teeth are very sharp, they're rodents at the end of the day. Um, but I think they handle very well. I and mean, this one's actually been quite exposed for quite a long time. If I just put my hand over his face, he would settle down very quickly and be perfectly happy there. Because from his point of view, it's just like being a, a tight burrow. It's fine, or it's in a tight nest. So, um, yeah, they, they handle very well, I think. Okay. So we can have I'm happy to have a camera inside as well. Yeah, someone, someone can help us retrieve it. So if you just hold underneath. So what we'll do, only because there's no one else, if you go to your cage with your group, but I'm going to start with cage number three. Pretty gorgeous, aren't you?
Keep going. Keep going. Just follow the, what looks like a bit of a rudimentary path. That's it. Yeah. This tape is exceptionally sticky. You don't want the door to sticky too. <laughs> no, I hadn't even thought about that. I was more worried about them escaping, but yeah. God, if, it, if that happened, no, that would be very embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Big strike out with the other one. I'll, if I'll pass this one to someone, unless you're very welcome to do the other one. What do you do? Just take the bunny out of the back and that's it. So, well, I'm going to give this who's for it is for a bit. Closed. So just push, can you see the, uh, that's loose now, so you're going to have to... What's loose? This, Sorry. this All grill. All that, that, that grill. So have you got yeah. it? Yeah, I got it. Lovely. Okay, do Grab some stills of that. 